Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to create an introductory video about bell peppers. And there's a variety of bell peppers out there that different colors too. In fact, uh, you might see some, in addition to the typical ones that you see, like yellow, orange, red, and the green one. There are other colors like purple, you might find white, brown, but I'm not going to talk about these unusual colors. I'm going to talk about the traditional colors. But let me start by saying peppers are fruits. They are no vegetables, they are fruits. Like the tomatoes, tomatoes are fruit too. Another thing I want to clarify, a green pepper is an un unripe pepper. That means that from green, it's going to turn into the final ripe pepper, whether it's yellow, orange, or red. However, some of the yellow peppers and some of the orange pepper, they have varieties out there that they just grow straight up yellow or straight up orange. But traditionally, they go from green, unripe, into one of these colors or combination. What is the nutritional value? Well, this one, because is on right have by far the less nutritional values. Remember that, you hear me? The less nutritional value, value because it's unripe. But once it becomes ripe, like the yellow, orange, or red, you're going to see that some of the value it has is that it's low in calories, very high in vitamins, like vitamin A and C, high in fiber, and high in iron, just to mention a few. Um, this one is not sweet, the green one, because it's unripe. This one are very similar, the yellow and the orange are very similar in sweetness, but the sweetest one is the red. Now, another thing that the red has that is different than the other ones I'm showing here is that it's good in antioxidant. So remember that. Um, you can create some delicious dishes, whether it's the base for a nice stew. If you prepare sofrito, like the Puerto Rican sofrito, or Cuban sofrito, or sofrito from Spain, it doesn't matter. This is, peppers are perfect. Um, you can stuff them with your favorite meat or rice or even seafood and make a meal on their own. In fact, you can even create nice looking and delicious and tasty, nutritious salads. So I have some examples of what to do with this type of peppers, and you can find that with links I have provided in my description. Click on the title of this video, and it's going to take you to the description, and you're going to see some links that is going to show you some examples that perhaps you can apply when cooking. So, that's pretty much what I have. Make sure you click the like button, Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video to share the knowledge. Um, create your own comments. That way I can interact with you if you prefer to do that. And that's pretty much it. Until next time, take care. Bye.